When Erin Kennedy sees her reflection, she only sometimes thinks she looks okay. She's recovering from anorexia and has come a long way from her days as a teenager when she attempted suicide. Like, I was never going to be thin enough, and I was, like, upset with that. <laughs> you know, um, like, it was never going to happen. So, like, why even bother? Like, why live anymore? Psychiatrist Walter Kay knew that people with anorexia tend to find very little pleasure in life. So he and colleagues studied how their brains process feelings of reward. They compared brain activity of former anorexics and non-anorexics who, during MRI imaging, played a simple game of chance. They were asked to guess whether the number was higher than five or lower than five. If they guessed correctly, they got paid a few dollars. If they guessed incorrectly, they lost a dollar. He wrote in the American Journal of Psychiatry that women who never had an eating disorder showed highs and lows in brain activity that corresponded with winning or losing. But former anorexics showed no difference. People with anorexia had a hard time distinguishing win or loss. Kay hopes his work leads to more effective treatments. Meanwhile, Kennedy continues her own therapy and now runs a support group for others with anorexia. I'm Sunita Reed.